Hello friends, today I will show you how to build a BLF 188XR power amplifier with a water cooling. This is my first uh, amplifier, it has just one transistor and it operates without water cooling, just with a air cooling. This is the cooler and uh, Two, uh, two 12 volt uh, fans. It, it is a standard design, mainly motivated by W6 uh, PQL design, very similar. The difference is that I put the RX uh, TX um, relays directly on the board. This is the second amplifier with two BLF188XR transistors and this is now just in construction. I'm using two copper plates each 12 mm thick and this is the first plate and I will put the, the transistors, the LDMOS transistors here. And uh, these holes here are for the pins of the relays and for the input-output connections. So I can place the board directly on the board and the pins uh, will not get a shortcut because of these holes here. So I'm using two of these uh, copper plates. This is a top plate where I mount the LDMOS transistor and the bottom plate will contain the water cooling and I will show you now how this is manufactured. So I will go to the workshop. So I have milled two copper plates. This is the bottom plate with the cooling channels for the water. Two input ports and two output ports. And this is the top plate. It has a reverse pattern here which, which uh, directly fits here. And on the other side are the mounting holes for the transistor. So if I put that here, 
it fits exactly. The next thing to do is to see where the transistor should be. So I have the board here. Okay, fits nicely. The transistor should be here and the other one here. So in the meantime I have applied some solder paste. Can we see it in the video? I think so. So there's solder paste applied with a one of these Chinese uh, cheap Chinese uh, solder paste dispensers. Some more solder paste for mounting the transistors. Okay, let's heat it up and let's see what happens. I place a a few drops of water here just to see when it has 100 degrees centigrade. Unfortunately it's not possible to use one of these infrared thermometers because uh, the surface of the copper gives the wrong measurement.
Okay, it's already melting in here. Ah, okay. It's melting here. It's melting everywhere. Very nice. I have already switched off the oven. So let's have a look at the first test run. The LD MOSFET transistors are secured with an aluminium because uh, the gate is very sensitive to electrostatic voltages. This is a power supply, 12 volts. A pump, if you want to know which pump it is, I can show you here. A bottle of water. Okay, looks good. Ready for the PCB.